Hey everybody, Zagram here again for another update. It's been a little while since I've had one. Well, it really hasn't been that long. It was uh, in the last month I think I had one. But anyway, uh, this time on my list of things to talk about. Uh, first off, the Don't Starve-a-thon. Uh, I felt it was quite successful. Uh, I had more people enter than I thought, and the actual viewing uh, during the live stream is pretty good. So I've been I was relatively happy with it. And because it was successful, I do intend to do more giveaways like it in the future. Uh, there will be a little bit of a break before I do. I, I don't have a whole lot of games I can give away at the moment. And uh, funds have been going towards other things. But it is on the th list of things to do. And I do hope to do another giveaway or two before the year ends. So keep on the lookout for that. And I will be sure to post videos uh, here on YouTube to let you know. Uh, they may not be in the same format as the Don't starve -thon, but uh, they'll probably be similar, where I'll do some kind of live stream that relates to the game, or whatever. Um, also, new games that I will be doing. Um, first off, I'll say I was asked about Cube World as to whether or not I would be doing that game. Um, I would like to. It looks interesting. The thing is, I will only do it if I find a second or third person to play with while I do it. Um, I haven't asked uh, Wan or Dev or anybody, so uh, it's just not something I've looked into in too much depth. But somebody did bring, ask me about it, so I thought I'd bring it up. So Cube World is a possibility uh, should I find a second person to do. I may do it just solo just to check the game out regardless. Uh, and this one is exciting for me, something I've been sort of looking forward to, but have been more recently uh, informed about it, and I'm even more excited. August 27th, Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn is released. Uh, I heard Final Fantasy, the, the original Final, so Final Fantasy XIV, uh, did not do so well. I usually get updates about this from my cousin, and he has invited me to join him in playing um, whenever 14.2 comes out, and I think me and him might be starting up something of a guild together, and we might both be doing recordings for this game. So if you've been interested in that game and aren't sure if you want to uh, to get invested into it yourself might want to check out those videos once they start coming out. I should start playing basically right as it's coming out. So that's exciting. Um, if there are, it does need to be said, if there are games that you want to suggest to me or you think I'm playing too much or not enough of a game that uh, you like to see me play, by all means contact me. That's why I have a contact page. I feel if people contacted me more, it would be easier for me to do my job as a commentator for you, because uh, I it's hard for me to manage and find out exactly what it is people want to watch unless they either complain or praise the work I do. I am in favor of getting complaints. It helps me know what I need to do, so by all means, complain. Uh, the contact page will be listed below, but it's usually not that hard to find. You just got to go to my website, and there it is. Um, and finally, I think this is the last thing on my list. I'm going to double check my little notepad here to make sure I'm not missing anything important. Um, do, 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 do. I think this is uh, the last major thing I had. Um, and it's not really that big, but I thought I should point it out anyway. Recently on Steam, now this is not a new thing, this is just something that's recently happened to me, somebody has tried to scam me, so this is something of a public service, amount, public service announcement, if you will, to uh, warn others about it, uh, so that they don't get them scammed themselves. I wasn't scammed because I could tell a spoof site from a mile away, but I got an or not an email, but I got a message from somebody who was using a group chat to send a message saying that Steam was giving free games for me being essentially like a valuable customer or whatever. Which, I clicked on the link, and after I clicked on it, I realized that it didn't look right. It was asking for my information and stuff, and 
it just didn't match up. This is just a warning to anybody else who uses Steam that if you get a message from somebody saying they're with Steam, don't believe it immediately. If Steam is going to contact you, it's going to be through an email, and if they were giving away games, they would be announcing it on their home page or on the store page. They would not send you a message about it. I just figured I would tell this just so um, more as a warning to people I know personally as friends and stuff so that they know that uh, not to be scammed. This isn't a new thing. It's been done in the past. I looked it up. And I think I've found other things that the same guy or friends of this guy have done in the past. But uh, I think it's a cheap trick to uh, steal people's accounts. And I'm just trying to help others not fall for it. Anyway, that covers, I think, everything I wanted to cover today for my update video. Uh, sorry, the background was once again relatively plain. Um, it's not so much that I didn't have time for a game, it's more that I didn't know what I wanted to play while I did this, and I think it was easier just to talk this time as opposed to playing a game and trying to give you an update. So from now on, I might do my updates like this, where it's just me talking so I can get my point across. If you prefer to have some kind of video in the background, I can record something and throw it all together and post. Anyway, this is why there's a contact page, or you can leave comments. I like those as well. Just let me know. So, with that said, I will see you next time.